Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to be discussing the visual effects element. And when you click the visual effects element, you're going to see seven different effects that you can actually use inside of your video. Now the first that you'll see here is called the drop shadow. And we'll need to put a call out or annotation here to show you what a drop shadow actually does. So let's go and get an annotation and then we will drop it into the timeline on track three. And all we have to do is drag it over and you'll notice then it appears in track three. Now we can determine how long it'll appear in the video, but it is now on track three. So now let's go back to the visual effects. So what we would do to get a drop shadow, what we're accomplishing here is for the shadow to mirror the shape of the object. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag the drop shadow onto track number three. And you'll notice here that there is a drop shadow properties area. So what can we do with this? Well, we can start working with the properties so that we actually show a drop shadow. So we can offset and you'll notice there that there is more of the drop shadow that'll show. We can show more of it or less of it, make it darker or lighter. We can blur it. We can have the video ease into it on a timing level or ease out of it on a timing level. And this is what a drop shadow does. So now let's take a look at the border feature. In order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to make the drop shadow invisible. And to do that, we're just going to head to this track three button and we're going to click disable track. What that does is even though we have the call out here on the track, it is now invisible. So it does no longer show. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull in an image onto the canvas. So we're going to go to the image area. And we're just going to drag this image onto the canvas. And that's going to appear on track four. We're going to make this a little smaller. And remember, we can extend this and have this appear as long as we need to. And this could just as well be a video clip. We're just choosing to use an image. What we're going to do now is going to go back to the visual effects. And we're going to pull in the border to the timeline. And what you'll notice now is that there is a properties area. So we're going to make this border a certain color. We're going to make it purple. And then we're going to increase the thickness of the border. And then you'll see it start to appear. So we can do this with different elements that we're causing to appear inside of our video. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make this track invisible. And we're going to move on to the colorize element. And all we do with colorize is we can pull that colorize element onto any track. So we're going to pull it onto the main track and you can see that there's an effect right away. We can choose the color. We can choose the amount of the color that we want to have colorized. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this effect. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to put in a color adjustment element. We're going to bring that down to track one, which is our main video track. And you'll see right away that some of the color has gone away. And we can actually adjust the track until it appears to be the colors that we want to show. Okay, and once again, you can have this appear in as long as the video as you actually would like it to appear. For example, if you only wanted it to appear in a certain part of the track, you could do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get rid of the color adjustment. And now we're going to take a look at the remove a color element. And to do that, we're going to go back to our media bin. We're going to drag in another element to the timeline. So we're just going to click add to the timeline at the playhead. So it's going to add this to track five. And again, we can extend this in as long through the video as we can. So it can be either one. 
So what are we going to do in order to remove a color? This is especially helpful if you have green screen videos. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the visual effects and we're going to drag in remove a color. And what you're going to notice is that there is a properties area. And so what we're going to do is we're going to now go to the color area and we're going to grab this image and what we're going to do is we're going to find the color that we actually want to take out. Okay, so we're going to do this one and you'll notice that most of the background is going to go away and then we can work with more of this until we have as much away as we'd like. So again, this can be especially helpful if you have a green screen video and you already have your background in green. If you have good lighting and you have done your green screen video well, this will be very easy to do. Now, just like we did with the audio, one of the really cool things about Camtasia is that we can actually speed up the clip and we can speed up the video so that we can drag the clip speed down to the video area. So let's take a look at the clip speed area. And you'll notice here that the video goes for 1 minute and 30 seconds. But let's say we want it to go for 1 minute and 50 seconds. We can do that. And it'll actually, you'll see that the timeline lengthens. If we want to do it for 1 minute and 25 seconds, slightly shorter, we can do that. Okay, so the last element is the interactive hotspot. So let's take a look at how this will actually work for us. So what we can do with the interactive hotspot is we can do a stop motion video. So in other words, we can cause the video to pause until the user has actually done something. Now to actually use an interactive hotspot, what we're going to have to do is go to the annotations element we're going to click the interactive hotspot and then we're going to click add timeline to a playhead. And what's going to happen is that when the video reaches this point, it's going to give your viewers the opportunity to click this area and then it's going to do one of a couple of actions. We can actually have it sent to a website that could be helpful in many cases. We could have it sent to a certain marker. So if we had marked the timeline for a certain chapter, we could have it marked for a certain time and then we can actually have, we can actually have it sent to a certain time in the video when the person clicks. Or we can just say click to continue. Now in order to execute this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to give the viewer some instructions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the callouts. Then we're going to add in some text and we're going to just add it in right here. We're going to double click it. And what we're going to do is we're going to say something like click to continue and want to appear for the same length of time as the hotspot. And then let's go to the hotspot so we can start to work with the image. So we're going to close this in some. We're going to go back now to the interactive portion. So we have it pausing to at the end and asking the viewer to click to continue. Now in order to produce the actual video, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to produce a certain kind of video. And so in order to do that, you're going to produce a custom production. And we're going to take a look at the new custom production here. And you're going to need to produce a smart player. That's going to give you all of the files in order to help you to make the interactive hotspot actually work. So you're going to go to next. And then you are actually going to go next. And then you're going to just click next. 
And you're going to have all of these files that you're going to need to upload, but all of those files are going to be necessary in order for you to be able to produce that interactive hotspot on your actual video. And that is the last visual effect that we will be working with. And with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.